Massimo Bugli. I am a general manager of Furono Italia. We founded the Furono Italia in uh, 2014. If I think on uh, 15, uh, 20 years ago, uh, Mega Yacht was uh, a yacht of uh, 30, 35 meters. Now we have a more and more bigger yacht uh, in Italy. So uh, medium-sized yacht in Italy, when we speak about super yacht, is uh, 50, 55 meters. And uh, the bridge concept uh, changed a lot in the last years. Where we're literally seeing the console move out uh, and a very big screen floor mounted um, being, uh, being the, um, uh, the interface that uh, the mariner has, um, perhaps sitting in their chair, looking out to sea and having um, some very large uh, high resolution screens um, you know, showing them all, all that they need to see. In terms of the displays on board the bridge, uh, of course displays are there um, as part of the integrated bridge system, as part of the uh, automation system, the IPMS uh, systems. And what we're going to see now is um, fewer visual display units and more single big display units. So 4K resolution, large screens integrated into, into consoles of all types. The monitor is uh, the key point of the bridge because uh, all the visualization of the information are on the monitor. So of course, it's important first that the monitor needs to be type approved because uh, normally we install these on a uh, uh, big yacht over 300 GT that are 90% of the case commercial yacht, same uh, uh, configuration of a, uh, a ship. And uh, of course, brilliance and uh, the possibility to see the uh, monitor in uh, all the uh, light condition is very, very important. And with Atland, uh, we have a very good result uh, and very good monitor that we can propose in uh, our system. In addition, we're seeing um, the disappearance of paper charts. Uh, so these large screens with their high resolution and multi-touch touchscreens are really becoming a, a work table. Oh, um, so uh, digital, uh, charts um, through these screens on the planning table is something that we are we have developed and we have are rolling out into the market and I think that's going to be um, growing in importance in, that, in, in industry both commercial marine as well as the yacht and of course the military as well.